Hi, everyone. Judge Andrew Napolitano here with Judging Freedom. Today is Thursday, November 17th, 2022. It's a few minutes after a bitter cold five o'clock in the afternoon here on the East Coast of the United States. Our guest, of course, is from sunny California. We've had no fall. It has gone directly from summer uh, to winter. It was in the teens when I was walking Chris, my dog, this morning. You all know our guest. Uh, one of the smartest people I know, certainly the smartest medical person I know, Dr. Joel Wallach, who has devoted his life to training people to cause their bodies to heal themselves using absolutely natural, utter safe means, mainly minerals and vitamins that we don't get in our food products anymore. Dr. Wallach, it's a pleasure. Welcome back to Judging Freedom. Well, thank you, Your Honor, for the kind introduction and for allowing us to share uh, with your associates and followers and, and so on and, and making this available to so many people. And, um, yeah, this has been a cold winter for us, too, on the West Coast. Oh, uh, that I didn't I didn't know. I've never heard of cold weather in California, but strange well, things. The nights, yeah, the nights are getting down to 40. No. Oh. Yeah, okay. it's way too cold for us. <laughs> all right, so our days are getting up to 40, and it's all, it's not even Thanksgiving. Anyway, mm. today uh, we're going to talk about inflammation, uh, and you will describe for us, you know, this reddened, hot, swollen, painful phenomenon uh, that we all experience. And I remind our uh, viewers that they have access to the products that you will discuss by going to judginghealth.com, which is the partnership between your company, Longevity, and Judging uh, Freedom. So okay. what, what, is, what is inflammation, and how do you know if you have it? Okay, well, inflammation can have a couple of parts. Uh, number one, it can be painful or itchy, so you know there's something going on, okay? Um, but also, it tends to have an increased circulation because it's painful and itchy and so it tends to have red um, um, sort of color to it um, uh, redness and swelling and those are the things that uh, are the hallmarks of inflammation swelling redness itching pain that kind of stuff and so the whole idea is you have to find out well what's causing the inflammation well typically and, typically what causes it is it trauma to the body is it bacteria is it a virus is it all the above is it none of the above it's all of the above because inflammation is not a specific thing it's it's um a reaction to any irritant whether it's an infection uh whether it's a uh, nerve being pinched uh whether you're deficient in a nutrient uh, all those things can cause um, regional or local inflammation and that's a little bit of the the um what the the problem the doctors have when they see somebody with inflammation where do they start oh well, that's why they want to do tests and this that, and the other to find out what the inflammation is caused by and um we we see this a lot and people say well yeah we went to all these doctors and they give us cortisone and the inflammation goes away for a week and when i stop the cortisone the inflammation comes right back and so <clears throat> obviously it's, it's a little deeper and so what we have to appreciate is that uh, all humans require 90 essential nutrients, 90, 60, six zero minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, three fatty acids. And it's uh, one of those things where if any of those are missing, you can get inflammation. Um, if you uh, have, for instance, uh, nutrients that are missing that are good for your joints and you get swelling and pain, and redness in the joints, that's inflammation because you're missing the nutrients that are required to maintain the integrity of that bone and the cartilage and, and so forth. Well, well, do the nutrients fight off bacteria? I mean, let's say I have a cut in my skin and three or four days later, it's swollen, it's red, it's hot, and I have difficulty, say it's in my hand, and I have difficulty making a fist. I guess that would be a classic sign of inflammation. Do I use an antibiotic or do I ingest minerals okay do both uh, our antibiotic is colloidal silver it's been used as an antibiotic for thousands of years okay Ooh. and you don't need a prescription for it okay and um uh, when i go into to groups crowds 
you know, you don't know what you're run, running into. So when I go to crowds, I'll put two droppers full of this colloidal silver under my tongue uh, before I get there, half hour before I get there. So it's absorbed almost like intravenously through the oral tissues. I'll do it. If we're going out to eat, I'll do it, uh, say, 10, 15 minutes before we eat, put it under my tongue, two droppers full. It was absorbed immediately under, under the oral tissues uh, before bedtime, uh, two droppers full in case, you know, I got coughed on or something like that. And <laughs> It's almost like intravenous, and this colloidal silver is running around killing all these bad bugs. That's what all right. Can you can you tell us the word again, or spell the word so we can colloidal silver? Okay, colloidal. Uh, this means the small particles suspended in a liquid. C O L L O I D A L colloidal. And then silver. S I L V E R. Is it silver? Is it the oh, kind of oh. silver that used to be cash? Oh, yes. This is the same stuff that's uh, in jewelry and cash and, and so forth and, and so forth. This is the same stuff. And for years, this is why people used to wear necklaces made of silver. That's why they wore rings made of, of silver, because they would absorb the slow drift of the silver off of the jewelry into the skin. And it would protect them against all these infections and plagues. And I am, I'm shaking my head because I, I never stop learning from you. Well, we're a team. I learn from you every time, Your <laughs> Honor. And so uh, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted with what you know and your interest. And so I'm, I'm flabbergasted that the medical community, not NDs, but MDs, don't prescribe this stuff. They would probably, if I went to them with this broken skin and the swelling and everything, they, they would probably give me some sort of a chemical that big pharma made. Of course. Now, here's why. They have a kid in college and tuition is due and you don't need a prescription to get colloidal silver. And so in 1936, they came up with penicillin and that's when doctors began to stop using colloidal silver because you had to come to them to get a prescription. They get an office call and the prescription fee and so forth. And so they changed their manner of doing business. Okay. And so colloidal silver kind of just slipped back into the wayside, <clears throat> but growing up on a, little old farms I did. Uh, we didn't go to the town to see doctors and things like that. We took care of ourselves. And grandma had her colloidal silver and so forth. And so that's where I learned about that. You know, I was just a little kid, three, four, five years old. Colloidal silver was a big, big deal. <coughs> All right. Tell us more. Let's get back to uh, inflammation. Maybe okay. something, something that we can't see, but we can feel like inflammation of the stomach. What okay. would... What would cause that and what would cure it and what, if anything, would prevent it? Okay. Well, your stomach is a very active organ. It's part of the digestive system. And um, it does two or three things. Number one, it's got muscles in the stomach that squish things and crush things and, and mix them all together and so forth. But it also has glands in the stomach that produce stomach uh, uh, enzymes to help digest foods. It also produces acid, which digests food, but also the acid uh, breaks down uh, minerals into smaller particles. And that way you're able to absorb it into your bloodstream. And all these minerals that have been broken apart by the stomach acid uh, go into your bone marrow and your bone marrow is where your immune system is. Your bone marrow is your immune system. It makes white blood cells, makes antibodies, makes platelets, makes red blood cells and so forth. And most people will never see their their um, bone marrow, but that's where your main immune system is, is in your bone marrow. So you really, okay. really want in, inflam inflammation in the stomach. What would cause it? How would I know if I have it? Okay. It could be a bug. Okay. Gastritis, inflammation of the stomach. Gastritis is called for gastric inflammation, gastritis. And it could be caused by an infection of a bug. It could be caused by some toxic substance um, that is uh, very alkaline, very acid, and has no um, health or physiological use, okay? And the people um, get a hold of these things, you know, when they're out um, in the field and so forth, and they're drinking out of the stream and so forth, and they're getting things that aren't good for them, which are chemicals that they use to spray farms and things like that. And so these sort of chemicals and sprays and things can cause inflammation, just as a contact inflammation. And so this is something why we had to be really cautious about what you put in your mouth because it will cause contact inflammation to your stomach. 
your stomach uh, will lose its efficiency of absorption. You can't get nutrition to your bone marrow. Your immune system doesn't work very well at that point. And so your stomach um, brings you all the nutrients necessary for your heart and your lungs and your liver and your muscles and your bones and your right, bone so marrow. What, what do you do if you have inflammation in the stomach? And how do you know it? Does it just feel like a stomach ache? Do you throw yeah. up? Do you have diarrhea? All of the above. Okay. All the above. And of course, again, gluten and wheat, brought around oats and buckwheat can do this to you. Okay, that's another form of inflammation to the gastrointestinal tract, the stomach and the intestines both. And so you need to stay away from those bad things. And so this is why we have so many books and things. And we also have a book called Rare Earths Been Cures. And Rare Earths Been Cures tells you if you're absorbing. This is the, the whole idea of your stomach and your intestines is to digest and absorb nutrients to, so the rest of your body can gain them and use them. And so everybody should be getting a hair analysis once a year. Uh, the book uh, we have is uh, Rare Earths Been Cures. Rare Earths Been Cures. <clears throat> Let me get this here. It's a big book. Rare Earths Been Cures. And Rare Earths Been Cures tells you how to collect the hair, how to package it, where to ship it. Um, uh, and so forth. And um, you can go to chapter 10 and 11, starts at page 272. And if all of the nutritional minerals in your hair analysis are below the bottom line, this means you're not absorbing. This means okay. you're eating gluten, and the gluten are killing your intestines so you can't absorb. You're eating buckwheat, they're killing your intestines so you can't absorb nutrition. And that's usually why the hair analysis shows you don't have any nutrient nutritional minerals up in the middle where, of the chart where it's supposed to be. And then, um, you know, if you have, they're all supposed to be kind of in the middle. You may have a couple that are too high. One of the common ones too high in a hair analysis will be calcium. And that's when you have a calcium deficiency. You have to understand how it works. And that's why we have the book and, and CD, Rare Earths Been Cures, because it tells you how to read these things. And so when you have high calcium in your hair analysis, that means your, your um, parathyroid glands are pulling calcium out of your bones because you have low blood calcium. Uh -huh. And they're just sort of overreacting and pulling too much calcium out of your bones. And so it shows up as excessive calcium in your hair analysis, which is not true. And so you have to know that because the doctors, oh, look at that. Your, your hair calcium is too high. Stop taking calcium. You do not want to do that. Okay. And so that's why we put out these books and CDs and DVDs so people have that information. If you, take the, if you take the basic 90 mm -hmm. minerals, vitamins, fatty acids, and amino acids, yes, sir. will you have this problem? As long as you're staying away from gluten and phagopyrins, which is in the wheat, butter, and oats, and buckwheat, if you stay away right. from those things, you're right. not going to have the problem. When people was, say, there a time, was there a time when uh, you could eat wheat and you wouldn't have this gluten problem? say before Norman Borlaug did whatever he did in the early seventies. I mean, Jesus ate wheat and Roman soldiers ate wheat and Europe lived on wheat for thousands of years. Now all of a sudden we're not supposed to go near wheat. Did, did wheat change in our lifetimes? Uh, wheat didn't change, but the people who ate the wheat did. Now remember <clears throat> all the plagues that used to go on during the Bible days. And these are people who didn't have any way to protect themselves against the bugs because they're eating wheat. All right. And nutritional minerals do not occur in a uniform. They still don't occur in a, in a, in a uniform blank around the crust of the earth. They occur in veins like gold and silver. And so if you're not getting much in the way of these nutrients because, you know, you're just eating food and you're assuming it's good, it's good food. And then um, you're eating wheat, brought around oats and you're eating buckwheat. And so you cannot absorb any nutrition that might be in the food. And so you're going you're gonna to be susceptible to infections and, and ruptured aneurysms and blood clots and all these kind of things. And uh, we don't have any history of that in our family. Why is that going on? Well, that's because you're not absorbing the nutrients. And that's why the hair analysis to see if you have a problem with absorption is so important. Okay. So, so important. Okay. Is, is there another area of the body that inflammation attacks that you want to address, Dr. Wallach? Well, inflammation can uh, affect uh, the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord. Ooh. Okay. okay. And um, uh, this is not uncommon. Uh, people get infections of the brain and the spinal cord um, 
they get infections of the eyes, which are part of the, of the central nervous system. Uh, they get um, infections of, um, let's see here, muscles. Uh, they get infections of skin. Uh, they get infections of the kidneys. They get infections of the urinary bladder. Uh, they get infections of their teeth. It's, wow. it's in are, any what, is the, what is the uh, basic product or what are the basic products at Judging Health uh, that you advise, that you created, that you make available uh, in order to ward off these dreadful inflammations that you're just describing? Okay. Well, I take the colloidal silver every day. I take uh, uh, two droppers full under my tongue, uh, half hour before breakfast, half hour before dinner time, and a half hour before bedtime. And if I'm around people who are coughing and whatnot, I'll take another two, you know, um, when I'm with them and wear a mask at the same time. So the colloidal silver is a big, big part of our life because you don't need a prescription for it. And, and that's uh, and it goes back thousands and thousands and thousands of years. All right. What what about the basic ninety uh, minerals, vitamins, amino okay. acids, and fatty acids? Well, that's why we came up with that. Uh, you know, originally people would say, "Well, I take calcium." Well, what about the other eighty nine essential nutrients? Well, my doctor says I'm eating well enough. I don't need to take anything else, so I just take extra calcium. And that's why there were so many people sick and inflammation and plagues and all this stuff going on because they were given misinformation saying just eating well was good enough. It was never good enough. It was never good enough. And when we went to electricity, when Thomas Edison pulled the switch, okay, um, at three o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4th, 1882, on Pearl Street in New York City in the bluff overlooking the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge, that was the beginning of the end of the days when you could just eat well and get a lot of vitamins and minerals. Because when you went to electricity, we weren't getting the wood ashes and the coal ashes anymore, which we'd been getting for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, because uh, in the early days, people would take the wood ashes and the coal ashes and put them in their gardens and the right. vegetables would suck right. them up. You'd eat the vegetables, you get minerals that way. And then they would also put the wood ashes and the coal ashes in their food. Grandma would put them in your, in your uh, soup and porridge and all that kind of stuff and on your salads and on your um, eggs and so on. So you're getting your minerals that way. And once we went to the um, uh, to electricity, suddenly now America was getting obese. Everybody's gaining weight. America's getting obese. And doctors was well, that's because you're eating too much animal fat. Just eat whole grains. And everybody started eating more, triple and quadruple wheat, probably around oats and buckwheat. And that, and that produced the inflammation. And the obesity. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so that's why it got worse and worse and worse and worse. Right, but what is the what is the product if if uh, viewers go to judginghealth.com and they want the basic product? Okay. Is it the heart and body pack? I forget what it's called. Okay. Well, the basic product uh, is the um, healthy start pack. That's our 90. 16 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 minerals, and three fatty acids. That's the basic core thing. That's what we started with 50 years ago. Okay. And this, this is the first time anybody had ever done anything like that. Because everybody says, well, I take calcium. I take zinc, you know, when I have a sore throat and that, that sort of stuff. And so we came out with that. And then we realized um, that there were some individuals that needed more than that. So we came up with what we call the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, which uh, the core was still the 90. But we added um, 115 more nutrients to it. And so now you're getting 215 nutrients. Uh, and again, the core is still the 90. And then we have what we call secret sauces. Secret sauces, which are large amounts of certain nutrients. For instance, um, for people who have thyroid problems. Do you want to take thyroid medication or iodine? So we have uh, our, um, let's see here, we have Ocean's Gold, which is the iodine and seaweed from the ocean. And we have Fucoid Z, which is from a different ocean. Okay, we're getting those seaweeds. And so I take the, the Fucoid Z and I take the Ocean's Gold as well. And, you know, my thyroid's beautiful. I'm 83 going on 84. And most people think I'm in my 50s when they look at me and see my energy levels and so forth. And, and that's because I'm getting all these nutrients. But I do take, I take uh, the 215 nutrients every day and probably about another half a dozen 
of these secret sauces, like the ocean's okay. gold and Z. Got it. Uh, and all of this is available at judginghealth.com, the basics that you need. That's correct. And at wholesale prices, beginning with the wholesale prices. And if they get an auto ship, Your Honor, I will pay the shipping. I pay the shipping if they get an auto ship. Okay. And if they, and if they do that, as one of our associates, become one of our business builders, um, run their business out of their home, they'll get huge tax deductions based on the percentage of space they use on their homes against their mortgage well, or their rent. You have, you have paid the shipping of these products to me, and now I'm addicted to them. Lowercase a, an a, and addicted, addicted to them in <laughs> good sense because they have make me feel so good. Dr. Wallach, we're running out of time. Thank you very much. Thanks for the uh, little lesson on inflammation. You know my dear friends, uh, you can get these products at uh, judginghealth.com. If you can't find it there, then you can go to Longevity, which is the master uh, website owned by Dr. Wallach's uh, company. Dr. Wallach, it's always a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you, Your Honor, for all the good work you do for the world. Uh, we appreciate you and respect you. Uh, we're going to be working together for a long time, for at least another 25 to 50 years. So it's going to be good. Hopefully we shall. Thank you. Judge Napolitano for judging freedom.